sort of the structure of the day is we have three short keynote speeches. After investigations from the Justice Department over manslaughter, the IRS over tax evasion, former employees of the company saying that the owner, Eric Prince, is a Christian supremacist bent on destroying Muslims and Islam globally, that the Obama administration continues to contract with this company to the tune of $200 million in Afghanistan, $200 million in Iraq. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Right now, the U.S. is spending $2.5 billion every week on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. 25 to 40 cents on every dollar that's being spent on this war is going directly to a for-profit corporation. There are 600 companies right now that are literally making a killing off of the killing in Iraq and Afghanistan. You think they're using union labor over there for all these so-called reconstruction projects? Nope. They're hiring women from Nepal and paying them a couple dollars a day. They're taking away the passports of workers who enter Iraq and forcing them into essential slave labor to build the U.S. Embassy there. 80 football field size embassy that we have in Baghdad right now was built largely on slave labor, workers who had their passports taken away and were forced to do these jobs. The profits of these companies continue to rise and we spend all of that money and all of it goes into the hands of these politically connected corporations and then they say, well, we can't afford to have a health care plan that ensures that every American is going to have health care. What a scandal in this country that Halliburton continues to make billions of dollars in profits, that Blackwater with its record continues to make a killing, and we can't provide health care for every single person in this nation. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here with you today. I'm always proud to be a part of any union gathering, and I thank those of you that, that spend your days toiling, doing the labor that fuels this country, taking time out of your precious schedules, away from your families, to be here in the streets ensuring uh, that people from across the globe are going to have their opportunity to voice their concerns to the most powerful people on earth. Thank you.